hi i'm becky my channel's what beck sews welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new um so today's vlog is all about a collaboration that i am doing with the lovely adele from sofa serenity and shannon from the sewing warehouse here on youtube i met up with both of them at the festival of quilts uh, earlier this year where we did a good look around did lots of fabric shopping I'll link the vlog here of when we went so you can see that if you want to go back and check it out. In that vlog I'm actually wearing the same thing. This is the South Shore Romper Jumpsuit by Ellie and Mac and this fabric is actually a viscose jersey that is Lady McElroy. I got it through Rainbow Fabrics but it is one of their dead socks so it's obviously gone out to the high street. Um, and I didn't know that until we were walking past the stand and uh, then the gentleman stopped me and asked me if I was wearing Lady McElroy. So, what have I got to talk to you about? So one of the things that we did was we all bought two metres of the same fabric. Now, it wasn't intentional. We didn't all just go to the stand and go, hey, let's do a collaboration and buy two metres of this fabric. It was Shannon who fell in love with the fabric and purchased it. Adele who also fell in love with it. And me who went, well, if you two are having it, I better because I don't want FOMO. Um, so yeah, we all bought this. Now I think this is called Spectacle and I will double check that and pop it down below. Isn't it just beautiful? I actually have a picture of all three of us holding this fabric up, which I'll pop in here for you to have a look at. And I think we're all very much happy with our choices. So it's on a Chloe chambray, which Adele has raved about several times. I've never used the Chloe chambray. So Chloe chambray is essentially a viscose linen fabric. It's got a lovely drape to it. Um, and it's just beautiful. Um, this print, I just think is spectacular. It's quite large and they do have a smaller version of this print, um, which I think is on the chalet base. So what I wanted to do was have a quick look at the sorts of different patterns that you can use to make out of essentially a viscose linen, so the Chloe Chambray. Um, and I came up with, I was actually directed when I was having a nose at lots of different pattern companies. But some of the key pattern companies that tend to um, have patterns that are really good for sort of viscose mix or linen mixes um, were the Paper Theory, so liberated and so how seven so a lot of their fabrics were coming up a lot of their fabrics a lot of their patterns were coming up under this for those fabrics now some of those patterns are tried and trues of my own so so how seven remy raglan was one of the options that came up uh, the the reason why i don't think i'd go for the remy raglan is because i know it's one of my um sort of scrap busters i can get one out of just shy of a meter of fabric and i'm not sure that i'd want to use this to make that that's not to say that i wouldn't um because you don't need to if you make there's one version where you cut it on the fold front and back where it's cut on the fold so you'd really be maximizing that print uh, and it would to be fair i'm almost talking myself into it now but it would be spectacular to make a it'd be a lovely blouse especially if you made the long sleeve version one and that would be more than a meter um so that was one of the things that came up also then new top which is the regala blouse came up the thing with that one for me is that i feel like the print would be broken up a little bit too much um because you've got the top yoke um with the gathering and i don't really want to break the print up uh paper theories patterns obviously the zadie jumpsuit was one of them that came up now that's a tried and true for me i love it but i only have two meters and if i was to make the zadie jumpsuit going into the autumn I would really be looking at not using a uh, would really be looking at using the long sleeved and extending it down to cover the full uh, fullness of my legs and two meters just wouldn't be enough to be able to do that along with the bias binding that you've got to get out of it so that wasn't an option they also have a shirt pattern um i can't remember what it is but i will pop a picture in here that was well recommended to it so liberated their hinterland dress was a fantastic option especially if you don't want to break the print up you can do it without the button placket on i'll pop a picture in of the version without the button pl button placket i thought this was lovely and um, you could even add an extra tier where you could do a bit of hacking with this to make it a little bit longer and a little bit more weather appropriate uh they also had the estuary skirt which i thought was a beautiful choice sorry i've got a fly buzzing around which driving me around the bend 
and um, they also had the estuary skirt which i thought was a beautiful choice which is a flat fronted waistband elasticated back and then it's got a button placket down the front now unfortunately i made the ruby over so over its skirt and it just didn't suit me so that is not actually an option for me and um, so that's not something that i could be looking at but they're just some options that are out there there are thousands of patterns i just wanted to name a couple as we are talking about the fabric to give you some ideas of what you could make in this i'm sure adele will share the dress that she's made in this as well and she loves working with this so um, I'm sure she'll share her ideas and a few different patterns that you could potentially make. Okay, so the first pattern that I thought I would share with you that I could potentially use this fabric for would be the Friday Pattern Company Heather Blazer. Now, the picture on the front of here is actually somebody in a linen version. This is one of the few paper patterns I actually have. Um, and it's an oversized blazer. It's described as being modern and stylish um, and comfortable. It's definitely an oversized fit. I've seen a few of these made up. I've read lots of reviews on them. Now, looking at this and looking at my measurements, my measurements would put me between a large and an extra large, um, but I think I would just make a size medium because I do know that it comes up big. Um, if I was to make a size medium, it only takes 1.7 metres of main fabric. You do have a lining fabric on top of that, and I'd have to dig through my stash to see what I've got. Um, you also have interfacing, um, knit and woven, and then a button if you choose to put that on, and obviously your matching thread. So I do think that this is a good option from a print perspective. I think it would make a beautiful statement piece. Um, you know, you could elevate any kind of uh, pair of jeans and a plain top with popping this blazer on. It would look really chic and stylish, I think. Um, my worry is because this is such a light and drapey um, fabric, the Chloe Chambray, is, is it too light and drapey? Now, I know you'd have a, a lining on underneath that, but I'm not 100% sure whether this would work. And the more I think about this jacket the more I am concerned that this wouldn't work for it. So it is an option there. I think I'm going to continue to do a little bit more research, but it is something I could potentially make up. So as a result of that, I had to go out and look at a few more patterns as to what I might consider making. Now, obviously I want a statement piece and I am thinking a statement piece to go with a pair of jeans. So another thing that came to mind was a top. So digging through my stash, because I don't really want to purchase any more, I came across a thread counts pattern that I forgot that I had, and it is this three-in-one peplum top. So you can see here, I know this shape really suits me quite well. Uh, this would be my preferred option, but with the longer sleeve. And I think, A, I'd be able to wear this with a pair of trousers to work and it'd look spectacular, but I also think it would look amazing um, with a pair of jeans if I was to go out, say, for an evening or something like that. So this was very much the long sleeve, but with the straight peplum, an option. Looking at the measurements in this, I sit between a large and extra large. Um, because of the give and the way that the waist is done, I could probably get away with making a large, meaning that I would need a fabric length of 1.8 metres. So that's not too bad. There is enough there for that. And obviously because of that drape that comes in the fabric, it would really work well with this top. And then the third option that I thought about was the Alex shirt from Sew Over It. Now, I've got two options that I could go with here. The shirt is a shirt dress. It's from one of their ebooks. Uh, I'm just trying to think what ebook it is. I think it's the City Break ebook. Um, I will link this below so you can go off and have a look if it is something of interest. So the shirt itself is stunning. I think this would be really, really nice. Again, I could wear it with a pair of jeans and it'd look really like statementy. Um, or I could wear this to work uh, with a nice pair of trousers. You could wear it under a pinafore, especially if you've got like a plain pinafore. You could really think of a few ways to style it um, just as a shirt. If I was to make the dress, I would probably alter this slightly. And what I've got in my head is the idea of making a tunic, which means that I'd have enough with the two meters to do this because I'd be shortening the length of the dress. 
But the theory is I could wear it as a shirt dress or shirt tunic with a pair of leggings and a pair of knee high boots, which is how I like to dress in the autumn. And I think that would look lovely paired together. But then this would then be a really nice statement piece to throw over in spring and summer months because it is that viscose, that Chloe chambray, that linen-y type texture. You could get away with... Um, sort of having it as an overcoat style um, type or overshirt if it's getting a bit chilly or just a throw on piece, a bit like a jacket type thing. Um, but it'd have a bit more fit and a bit more structure with it being that shirt dress. So let me know what your thoughts are on what you would make with this. Now, I did go off and have a look at the hashtag over on Instagram because I think whenever I'm making anything, whether it be a pattern, I like to see what's out there. I like to see what suits other body shapes. But the same with print. I like to look at somebody's complexion um, to see how well it goes against them you know there's a lot of colors in this print that i wouldn't normally wear or wouldn't wear so close to my face now for those of you that have followed me or watched me for a while i'm usually you know your fuchsia pinks your teals um your reds all of those colors really suit me whereas the standout colors on here are very earthy tones um so i do worry a little bit about that and when i make my choice you know does it really suit my skin tone for example i want it that's why i was initially thinking a blazer would be a great idea because i could then put a cooler tone on my um underwear underwear under top on the top underneath oh god becky what are you saying um on the top underneath to bring out that vibrance um that, that's that i know suits my skin and my comp complexion quite well so I did think about making a pair of trousers up with these. Um, I've got a Vogue pair of wide leg trousers. In fact, let me grab the pattern to share with you. So this is the pattern here. Um, it's a very easy Vogue pattern. It'd be this one that I'd be looking to go for. Um, I would need to make up the size 18, I believe, in this pattern, which is 2.1 meters. So I could probably just about get away with it. Um, now, what I will say, the thing that's put me off putting this one fully into the mix, which is why I just want to talk about it, because I know that the bottom half of my body would be better suited for this fabric, although it has got these blues in it, which suit my skin tone. I, with pattern placement, I'm just concerned that, you know, I'm going to stick that near my lady garden or on my bottom in an inappropriate place kind of thing. So I... And I, I have a habit of doing things like this with my pattern placement. So, you know, whether it's on a nipple or it, I'm just terrible with my pattern placement. No matter how hard I try, I'll get it right in one place and not in another. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. Case in point, what I'm wearing today, where a certain flower is placed. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now, I wonder how many of you are going to rewind back to the beginning of my vlog to look at what that looks like and where that pattern placement is. So I think that's what's making me a bit wary about making trousers with this. I know a skirt would be perfect. I know something like the um, estuary skirt that I shared uh, for So Liberated would work for this, um, but it just doesn't suit my figure. Now, the Maeve skirt really does suit my figure, but I know two meters isn't quite long enough to get a full length skirt out of it. And um, and that's what I'd want to make going into the autumn months to get maximum wear. Plus, you'd be breaking up that print. And I really don't want to break the print up because it's or don't want to break it up to that extent because it's just so pretty. So, yeah, that's why I have gone with the patterns that I've gone with. But that's not to say that they're going to be the final patterns that I am going to choose, that that is absolutely what I'm going to make. They're just my plans, my ideas at the moment. And I could change my mind and come back at the end of October and reveal something completely different different so we are doing the reveal cannot remember if i've said so i may be duplicating here and um, we're doing the reveal on the last day in october which is a tuesday and all three of us will be sharing what we have made now the others have released their vlogs as i said earlier and go over to their channels if you haven't come from their channels and go and watch their vlogs and see what they have got for their inspiration i know that i cannot wait to see what they are planning because when you're making a fabric and everybody else is making the same fabric, it's really, really difficult because you just don't know what you want to make. So 
it'd be really nice to see what their inspiration is so let me know what you would make whether it be any of the patterns that i've suggested um or whether you would make something different let me know in the comments down below thank you very much for taking the time to watch me today if you don't already please hit that subscribe button it's nice to have you on board and if not just don't forget to give it a thumbs up so other people in youtube can see this and i cannot wait to show you what i've made on the reveal take care happy sewing bye